Yeah, look, it's it's disappointing because we've been playing some good basketball. Uh, so to come out in a game and perform like that, um, yeah, it, congr congrats to them with the way they come out and perform. Uh, and then we just couldn't kind of gain any real momentum to put any real scoreboard pressure on them. So that just made it tough for the remainder of the game. Paul, I think you yes, uh, that fears of the letdown Game, yeah. All, all came to fruition. Did you, did you sense there was something going on throughout the week? Or watching, listening to what you said yesterday, watching the game, it almost felt like you predicted it. Uh, no, I, I certainly never try to predict us losing, that's for sure. Um, but you're, you're mindful of everyone's situation. Uh, you know, I'm mindful of ours, I'm mindful of the opposition situation as well. So uh, when you feel like a perfect storm's ruining, you want to try and take care of it before it happens. What was the, was it the effort that was concerning you most in that first half? Was it execution? What, what was the biggest headaches? Uh, the, the, where, where I get worried is you, you're never going to play perfect for 40 minutes, but you need to make the opportunistic plays what I feel are opportunistic plays, and they made them the amount of offensive rebound, kick out threes, or when we miss you know, some shots that we would normally make. Um, you know, th they did a great job of, at capitalising on their moments and we, we didn't create any moments for us where we could really get our crowd into it and just bring a nice energy to us as well. We got to see Bryce off the court, or off, took him off early in the second quarter and then he couldn't get back on and the game got away from him. Yeah. How frustrating was it for you to not be able to get him back out? Yeah, look, those are the things you reflect on uh, when you use your timeouts and all of that kind of stuff. So um, you can see the game, uh, the momentum, if you can ride the momentum of a game, it can be very advantageous, and they did a great job in that period of time. What was your thinking behind taking him off at that point? Oh, like just to give him a quick break so we could finish the half strong. Um, you know, I'm all about us trying to... Uh, finish the quarters off in in a in a good way, no matter what the score reflects, just so we can get a little momentum. And uh, you know, as, as we've just talked about, they did it. They did a good job of creating the momentum for themselves. Is he what's the biggest lesson today? We've been playing so well. And what's, what's the biggest lesson that you take going forward? Uh, I think there's lots. I think Jay uh, hit it on the head. I think they did a really good job of capitalising on those those moments. Um, you know, an O board to a, to a two or three or a loose ball or, you know, we'd miss a bunny and then they'd go down and get a transition bucket. They, they did a really good job of capitalising on those moments. But, um, yeah, look, I think we've been playing some good basketball. This, this doesn't change things drastically. I mean, we're the same team. Um, we've got a great opportunity in 36 hours to, to go play another game. I think that's that's often the, the best thing in a situation like this, coming off a loss at home, is to, to go on the road and, and play again quickly. Uh, you don't be sitting on this for a week. Um, yeah, so it'd be good to get in the road and, and try to get a try to get a win against South East. Well, it's always been like that, um, and I'd say in <coughs> recent years, it's. I mean, this league is an exceptionally good league. Um, you know, one through ten, um, you, you don't show up or you, you give an inch, um, and you. You know, you're going to lose a basketball game, so um, that's okay. As I said, and you said, we've been playing some good basketball over the last month, two months, three months, um, and that's okay. And we'll we'll regroup and, and play again in 36 hours. <coughs> yeah, John. Um, that's twice now that they've done a really good job at denying Bryce the ball more than anything. He just doesn't get the ball in his hands as much as he does. In other games, is there something you're seeing that they're doing especially well that is causing you to struggle in these two games against them? Look, they they put a lot of attention uh, towards him. They 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 do a great job of, and they they believe in what they do. And and uh, you know, the next time we play them, I'm sure they'll come with the same stuff because it's worked very effectively. So it's up to us to figure out how we can make Bryce very efficient, uh, and they they can't stamp their authority on that matchup.
Last week we talked about trying to keep the momentum going from the Friday night to the Sunday. What changes in your approach getting the team ready when you lose the first game of the Uh, look, I'm not going to change my approach. Um, you know, we, we've we been playing good basketball. I, 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 there's no reason why we're not going to play more good basketball. So for me to change our approach and the mindset to it all, uh, I don't think that's fair to the body of work that we've been doing over the last three, four months. Jess, this might sound like a silly question, but when you go on a road trip after a loss quickly, how different does it feel from last week when you win the first game to when you lose the first game? How different do you feel when you're going to the second game? Not much, uh, to be honest. You, you, if you win, you want to flush it, and if you lose, you want to flush it. Um, arguably, if you lose, you've, you've got a bit more chip on your shoulder. and um, I don't want to say desperate, but you, you, yeah, you're playing with a chip on your shoulder. But um, I think JR said it well. You know, this, this game is... is is not defining. It's um, it's as you said. We've been playing some good basketball. We, I don't expect JR to change anything. We've we've been on a pretty steady course for the last two months, and um, we'll continue that and keep chipping away at practice, keep chipping away, and um, yeah, hopefully get a win on the road. All right. Thanks.